Today I wanted to share a workflow you can use when building something using LLMs. So today we are going to build a website template you can see here that has an integrated LLM chat text box. We will be using the Claude 3 Opus model today which I really enjoy so let's just get started. The website you can see here is going to be our inspiration today. I just think it looks awesome to be honest. And the owner has left this message here so quick site layout FAQ. I made it from scratch. You're more than welcome to borrow any parts of it. No need to ask. And it just explains a bit about the website. So with that, I kind of feel that we can borrow some cool things for this website and to use it in our uh, project. So the first thing I'm going to do is just head over to Visual Studio Code here in an empty folder. I want to create a new file. I just want to call it uh, index.html, right? And I think we're going to leave it like this for now right okay and the next thing I want to do is head over to Anthropic so we are gonna be using the playground here today but uh, of course you can just use GPT-4, ChatGPT, uh, whatever fits your style so we are gonna select the Opus model here right that's the most powerful one I'm just gonna set the temperature to yeah 0.6 doesn't really matter but I want to increase the tokens because we might do some long snippets here so set it to like this and uh, next we want to set our system prompt right so i'm just gonna set this to pretty simple you are an expert software dev with expertise in html js node.js and css your task is to assist the user i'm not gonna do any fancy system prompt for this uh, okay so that means that we are ready to start with this project Okay, so the first step is gonna be a bit cheesy, of course. So we're just gonna save this site and save it into our empty folder here, right? Okay, so if we go to Visual Studio now, we can see we have the HTML code of the website here. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is go back here and go to Anthropic. And I'm just gonna show you the prompt I'm gonna use for this. Hello, I wanna build a template for a website. This is the HTML code I have to build this on. And here we're gonna paste in the code. Uh, I want to use the same styling, colors, fonts, and layout as the HTML and CSS above. Ignore images, logos, and icons for now. Can you help me write the full code for this? Okay, so let's go back here. Let's copy uh, the HTML code here. Okay, and let's remove that. Let's paste it in. Okay, let's create a space here. Yeah, and let's just run this. So what I really like about uh, Opus is that it doesn't really do a lot of what I call bullshit. It just goes ahead. Certainly, here's the full code for the website. And it just goes ahead and writes the code we are interested in. It doesn't go around like GPT-4 did at least for a while. And put in a lot of text. Use a lot of tokens for basically nothing. And it didn't complete all the things we needed in our code. It just left these placeholders, which were very annoying. So I'm just going to let this run now and see what we end up with. Okay, so we have the HTML here. We have the CSS. So since I'm lazy, I'm just going to add this to conversation. I'm going to go. I'm going to prompt it. Merge this into one HTML file. Okay. Okay, good. So I'm just going to copy the code. Let's go back here. Select our index.html. Let's just uh, paste in the code and let's save that. And let's see where we are at now. So if we open the site now, you can see, okay, this is something, right? It's a bit off, it's not centered, and yeah, it's a bit strange, but uh, that's a good start, I think. So now let's uh, center this, I think. So let's add this to conversation, and let's just, great, center everything. Okay, that was done. Let's copy that. Let's go back here, replace this code, save it, and let's refresh this. Yeah. Perfect, so now we are kind of centered and we can move on to the next step. And that is going to be to start working on the styling. So I'm just going to use the prompt. Great, here is the style I want for the menu. And I'm going to copy in some styling here and implement this, please. Okay, so for that we have to go back to the web page. And we're just going to start with the menu, right, wasn't it? Uh, the menu, right, yeah. So I'm going to click here on this menu. I'm going to inspect that, right? Okay, so let me just drag this out a bit. And here we're going to pull over the styling. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this styling here, right? Okay, so let's copy that. Let's go back to Anthropic and let's take out this and paste in this. Okay, so implement this please. And let's run it and see if it works. 
Okay, so that was the code. So let's copy that. Let's go back to the studio. Let's update this. Let's save it. And uh, let's refresh our site. Yeah, good. So you can see the menu is now in the style we want. That means let's move on to the title or the H1 header. We're just gonna do the same. So here's the style I want for my H1. We're gonna copy the style. Uh, okay, so let's go here and inspect the heading. And let's just grab uh, this, I think. Okay, let's copy that. Let's go back here, remove this, paste it in. And yeah, let's see if it works. Okay, so we have a code here. Let's copy that. Let's go back here and paste it in. Let's save it and refresh this. Okay, yeah, looks good. I'm happy with that. I kind of want to remove this part here. I don't like these titles. So tr let's try to replace this. I deleted the messages we had so far because we don't want to spend extra tokens, right? So now I'm just going to go my code. I want to remove the ID post list and replace it with some information about how LLMs works. Explain this so a 10 year old can understand it only in one paragraph. Okay, so the next thing we need our code here. So I'm just going to grab that, paste it in. And yeah. Let's see if this is gonna give us some new information. So you can see the markdown didn't work here, but let's try to add it to conversation here. And I think we can just copy it from the text box here. I think that should be fine. So all the way down here, okay. Let's see what we got here now. Okay, so let's say that we are at 100 lines now. Okay, so let's refresh. And yeah, uh, we got a some better things here we got like a paragraph about large language models uh, i'm not gonna read this now but yeah i think it looks okay so yeah let's just move on then the next thing i want to do is also copy the style for the body okay so we're just gonna do the same as before i'm gonna go back here i'm just gonna inspect uh, the background here okay so we have something from the body here i'm just gonna copy this and yeah let's go back here and replace this styling and uh, just to fix that okay so we added this to our conversation let's just copy the code again let's go back here i don't know if this is gonna make a big difference to be honest uh yeah it changed a bit i don't know if i even like that no i kind of changed my mind i think i want the previous version i think that looked better so let's keep it like this i think i like that more okay good so let's move on then so you can just skip that step i guess since we are having some issues with the markdown, I'm just going to copy the system prompt. I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to start like a new prompt here. Uh, so let's just uh, refresh this, paste in our system prompt. Let's set it to the same here. And yeah, let's pick Opus. Let's go. So my code, I'm going to paste in that. Now I want to create a text box below our paragraph about the LLM where the user can enter messages. The text box should have a terminal style. The text box is going to be connected to an LLM later. Okay, so let's paste in our code. Can you fix this? Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we're still having issues with the markdown. So we're just going to use the text here. So uh, let's copy this, right? And uh, down here. And let's see how this looks now. So let's update our code. We added 20 new lines. Okay, so let's go and refresh. Okay, so here is kind of our initial text box. Looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Now let's move on and integrate our large language model. And here is the prompt I want to use for this. So of course, we're going to paste in our code. We're going to paste in some API documentation from Grok. And uh, I'm going to have to add my API key too, but I'm going to try to hide that. Now let's start implementing the LLM chat into our website. We are using the text box uh, as the interface where the user communicates with the LLM. Can you help me fix and include all existing lines of code in the updated version? Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go grab our code first here. Okay, so let's paste that in. And then I'm going to go get some API docs from Grok here. So uh, I think we're just going to copy this basic chat completion. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's go back here and paste in that. Okay, uh, I'm just going to grab an API key. I decided just to revoke this anywhere. So yeah, yeah, 
doesn't matter if you see it, so let me just go grab that. Okay, so here's the key, and now let's try to see what we can get back here. So I'm just gonna run this. Okay, good, so you can see it didn't add the existing style, so I'm just gonna ask for that. So let me just add this to conversation. Include the existing styles too, okay. Yeah, here we got it. So you can see down here we have uh, something called script and that is what we are going to use to run the LLM rights. Okay, so let me just grab this and let's back head back here and let's paste it in. So we're at 161 lines now. So let me just refresh that. Uh, okay, so I didn't like the send button. Let's fix that later, right? Okay. So let's add this to the conversation. The next thing we are going to do now is great. Now I guess we need a Node.js server to run this because I want to use that. So let's see if we can get something similar to that. Okay, so we get these steps. We're going to do this uh, npm init y. So why don't we just go ahead and do that right away? So let's just go this, right? Okay. And let's install this grok part. npm. Okay, that's done. And now we're going to create this ser server.js. So let's just create a new file here. Server.js, right? Okay. And let's copy the code. Paste it in here and save that. And then we have to update our scripts, right? So let's add this and just go. Great, write a full new update HTML code, don't skip any lines. Okay, great, so let's copy the updated code, let's go to index.html, let's paste it in, let's save it. And I think we need to create some folders here, so let's create uh, static, let's create public, let's move index to public. And yeah, let's test it. Okay, so node server.js. Okay, so we have some kind of error here. So let me copy that and head back to Anthropic. So I get this error. So let's paste in our error and see if we can do some debugging. Okay, so it seems there was some error in our server.js file. So it added our API key. So I'm going to copy that. Head over to our server file here and let's swap that out. Let's clear this. Let's try to run it again. Yes, server is running on port 3000. Perfect. And let's go to the browser. Wow, okay. So let's say hello. Send. Okay, it's working. Uh, but uh, it's not too good. I don't like the interface. So let's say tell me about AI. Send. Yeah. So we get the response, look how quick Grok is. So this is working for now, but I don't like the text box. Let's do some styling on that, right? So let's add it to, to conversation. And let's go with the prompt. Can you give the text box a 90s hacker retro style and make it dynamic? Don't have a button to send, just let the user press enter. Okay, so let's see what we can get back here. Okay, so this kind of changed it all the way back to this. So it was cool, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. So I changed it up a bit, uh, textbook as a 90s hacker retro terminal style, uh, don't change anything else about the website. Okay, so let's try that instead. Okay, so let's copy this, and uh, let's replace this, right, okay, so let's save that, and yeah, let's check out how it looks now. Okay, so let's refresh this, alright, this looks cool, right? Hello? Okay, so we got a different color now, yeah, I like this, I like the... UI to be enter your command down here instead. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this. This was kind of what I was looking for. And let's just appreciate how fast Grok is. What can you tell me about AI? Why <laughs> so fast? Uh, and we can scroll up. Um, give me five tips on how to learn Python programming. Okay, so I like that it kind of stays in the same size here and we can just scroll up to check previous messages and it looks really good so yeah i'm very happy how this turned out i wish i could host this now but i think that's gonna be a bit expensive uh, but yeah i really like this and i thought i saw one thing so if we go write 10 paragraphs about the singularity while it is typing now you can see assistant is typing that was pretty cool before we kind of get the response right and there we got it that was pretty quick <laughs> okay so yeah, uh, this turned out pretty good. 
So we kind of got our template here. Uh, of course, we can change this. Uh, we have some links here. We can expand on this if we wanted to. We can change the footer. But if you kind of look at our um, source here. So this was kind of what we were aiming for. We ended up with this. So it's not an exact copy, but uh, like we don't have the cool fonts and stuff. We don't have this pick font and I think we have mono space. But uh, I'm happy. This didn't take too long. I think I spent like, yeah, I spent maybe like an hour. And I think it cost me like one dollar maybe or something like that. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, leave a comment if you have better ideas how we can do these types of videos. They drag on a bit, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I got a lot of other workflows too we can take a look at. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you on Wednesday.